is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It's a hard topic to talk about, but it's one that unfortunately many in our community know all too well. Perry Robinson has one family story of loss and their message for you tonight, Perry. Hey Liz, Louisiana and Baton Rouge in general rank near the top when it comes to domestic violence. But one local woman is on a mission to curb the problem and she has no plans to stop. I don't want my sister to be a memory, I want her to be a legacy. So many good things come in pairs. And that's how Trinicia Ricks felt about her twin sister, Maisha. Maisha was a mom, a friend, and a gift to the people around her. But her life was cut short. We wear it well because we have to, but this is a pain I would never want anybody else to experience. Investigators say Maisha's former boyfriend killed her in the murder-suicide back in 2021. Her three kids were inside the apartment when the shooting happened. It feels so unfair. It feels like you got robbed. Like it feels like somebody took something from you that they can't get, give back. Her family celebrated her life on the anniversary of the day she was killed to help raise awareness around domestic violence. Trinicia told us she never saw the warning signs, but she's on a mission to encourage more victims to speak up before it's too late. It opened my mind. It opened everything about me to want to do something about it. It's the same mission. Different groups such as the Butterfly Society continue to set. The organization held a vigil to honor the people that died at the hands of domestic abuse and empowered others to stand up and speak out. Domestic violence is an epidemic. It's a crisis. It is ripping the lives of so many of our family members, again, and friends and loved ones and, and colleagues that as a community, we have to rise up. If more people speak out, they believe they can save more people, the same people as Maisha. I want to make sure that not only is she honored, but if I could, I would love to stop this from happening to somebody else. Well, there is a statewide hotline that you can call if you are in trouble. It is free and open 24 seven. That number is on your screen. There are also more local resources you can find by reading our story on the nine news app. Liz, back to you. All right, Perry, thank you. Just such an important.